We've been talking about it all morning long. Halloween is just about a week and a half away. And to show us some spooky illusions is Mike Randall from the Wonders of Physics. Back again. Good morning, Good Mike. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about what we're doing today. We're doing a couple of illusions today. And these are... Uh, just really fun and kind of surprising and of course uses physics. Okay. So uh, one we saw earlier on, I don't know if we can still see this. Maybe we'll set up the camera a little bit here. This is a very fun illusion that uses a couple of, it's all, of course, yeah, everybody says, oh, it's done with mirrors. Well, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much done with mirrors. Okay. So we've got a couple of little uh, ghosts. I got a ghost and a pumpkin here. They look like they're right there, but I can't touch them. Now, if, I don't know if oh, you'll be able to see that on so camera. So right now they're really not there. Yeah, they're not there, but they sort of are. The way this works is with, of course, mirrors. There's two special parabolic mirrors here, one at the bottom, one at the top. So I've got a couple of figurines stuck to the bottom here, all right? Light tends to go out in all sure. directions. When sure. that light hits a mirror like this, so that instead of going in all directions, when it bounces off, it's all going in one direction. Okay. So that light goes down, hits the second mirror. That mirror then takes that light and then refocuses it up here. I got to say, this has been set up for about a good 10, 10 minutes, and I actually thought that there was something here this entire time. Yeah, it's that good of an illusion. It is. Now, another one that's very popular, and especially fun around Halloween time, because people can do this at home, okay. uh, and they can get as elaborate as they want to. <laughs> this is a variation on Pepper's Ghost. Um, this is a particular variation. We're going to uh, light a candle underwater. Now, again, this we've got a a lot Plenty, of lots of lighting here, here of in the studio, so this works better if you've got the background a little bit darker. But okay. I think you can see it. If you can see it on camera, yeah. if you could focus in on the on the candle image in that jar. Okay. And you can see that there is a glass here. Yeah, focus in very closely on that, on the jar. Okay. I'm going to pour water in. Hopefully this shows. There we go. That looks pretty good. So what are we seeing here? So as you place the water in... Ever see a candle burn underwater before? Never. Ah. So that's the illusion. Now, of course, if this back here was even darker, it looks incredibly real. And it's like, wow, that, that just doesn't make sense. But all it is is you've got light. You're looking through a mirror here. Most of the time when light goes, or light goes through glass, it goes through. But a small portion of it actually reflects. Okay. So what we're seeing here is we're looking through the glass with the camera at the, the jar, but we're also seeing the reflection off the glass of this candle. And so the two kind of like lay over the top of each sure. other. So there's, like I said, the original illusion is called Pepper's Ghost. You can actually make people look like they're peering or disappearing or right. transforming from one thing to another. Um, I encourage people to look online. I was looking online. There's incredible stuff that you can do that will tell you how to set these up at a home. A lot to look it's for. It's a really fun illusion. And it's actually relatively simple to do, but it's spectacular. It is very cool. Mike Randall, thank you so much for coming in today. We'll be right back with more news and weather.